Welcome to MaxCut. In this quick walkthrough, I'll show you how to get started by adding your first panel, optimizing your job, and printing reports. This will give you a high-level overview so you can see how easy it is to get started. When you open MaxCut, you'll see some helpful dialogues to guide you. The Let's Get Started dialog provides access to additional tutorials, just like this one. You'll also see a prompt to add input items to your job. A job is a project where you define the input items, the parts needed for cutting and costing. Input items include panels, edging, hardware, labor, and library resources. You can save your max cut job with its input items to your computer, allowing you to modify it when needed. Let's add our first panel. To add a panel, we'll use this dialog. Click Add. You'll be prompted to select the type of input item you want to add. Select Panel, then click OK. This is the Panel Details dialog. Here I can enter the dimensions of my panel, choose a material, and specify other details like edging, holes, and grooving if needed. For now, I'm just going to name my panel, define its size, and select a panel material from my sheet material list. A sheet material is the full sheet or board from which your panel will be cut. We'll share more about sheet materials and how to add your own sheet materials to the list in another video. MaxCut includes a few example sheet materials to get you started. For now, I'll select one of these example sheet materials for our panel. Once I click Save, the panel is added to our job. Let's add one more panel. Another way to add a panel is by clicking on this Add button on the left side of the toolbar. This opens the same Panel Details dialog we just used. I'll fast forward through this part. Now that we have a couple of panels in our job, click Optimize to generate the results. This is the Optimize Sheets tab. This is where you'll see the layout of your panels on the chosen sheet material. I'll explain more about the details on this screen in a later video. If there's anything we want to change, we can right-click on the relevant panel to view the options, or we can go back to the Input Items tab to make adjustments and re-optimize. Once you're happy with the input items and the optimized layout, you can move on to exporting your layouts or printing reports and labels. You can also view a costing breakdown in the Summary tab. To wrap up this video, I'll generate a job layout report, giving you a preview of some of the available reports and how the layout appears in PDF format. Click Reports. This brings up a list of reports that you can export to CSV or print to PDF. I'll select the job layout and click Print. Here's your layout in PDF format. You can print a physical copy or save this file to your computer for later use. Let's return to MaxCut. Feel free to add more items to your job by clicking on the Input Items tab and following the steps we just covered. This video covered the basics, adding panels, optimizing your job, and printing reports. In the next videos, we'll take a closer look at each step, exploring different methods and additional features to help you get the most out of MaxCut. Thanks for watching.